music is about, uh, it's not about chords, it's not about pitches, it's not about nothing, like it's about relationships. And, uh, so chords and pitches uh, need to have a context. Uh, the context is what happens before, what happens after. So if I just hit, you know, pitch E, I suppose there are people that will tell you that that pitch, you know, is uh, beautiful. But really, that pitch E becomes beautiful in relation to what happens around it. And so music is about tension and resolution. I think for me, like, it's not necessarily a specific type of piece or you know a specific genre or a specific instrumentation. It's kind of how everything works together in a moment to make something beautiful. You know, it could be a symphony, it could be a quartet, it could be you know a, a punk song with strings in it. So just kind of like you were saying, how you, you you make sure that every piece in the song is right, whether it's the lyrics or the drum part or the bass part. If, if that all works together in the right way, then it has that kind of transcendent quality. I think what's beautiful about it is that, you know, in music there is no real division. Like we can cross into this world, you know, and I think that's beautiful. I think that's and that it means so much to everybody yeah. that that we were here I and mean, that that makes it all the better for us too. I've never spent um, more than four hours on, on any string part, and when you tell people that, that you know, I can understand, you know, the, the concern about hack work, but it either comes all at once or it doesn't come at all. I don't get up and go, I'm going to take a break and come back to this, you know, like it, it's a linear process, which is, of course is why I think music is the most appealing of the, the human arts, because, um, uh, you know, without decrying painting or, or, or literature, you can see with painting the finished product. Uh, with music, it's a it's sort of linear journey, which means that it can be uh, circumscribed under the human condition because we don't know how it's going to come out. And so, when you take that into account, when you take these narrative things and when you take these metaphorical uh, things into account, um, geometry and linear. And music doesn't have geometry; it's not uh, temporal. It's not high or low. There are no high pitches or low pitches um, because music is not spatial. Uh, it's very hard to talk about music um, without metaphor. So I take these things into account when I'm writing the parts. Um, and honestly, I mean, yeah, I just sort of see them um, all at once. There's a symmetry. This has been one of the most um, incredible experiences, to say the, the absolute least, um, that I've ever had a chance to be a part of. And even if everybody who hears this record listens to the track and thinks that it sucks or that it doesn't make sense because we're just like a hot water music ripoff band or you know whatever the case is, I'm completely fine with that because I had the opportunity today to sit in the studio with some of my best friends, not to mention uh, the musical genius that was in the four walls of GCR on a day like today. And, I felt things um, within a song that I never experienced before and I don't know if I'll ever feel it again. Um, as I was sitting in the control room listening to what had been tracked, my eyes welled up out of nowhere and it was this wave that just kind of hit me and I spent a minute trying to figure it out. <laughs> I, you know, I wondered what had just happened to me but then I realized that it was the most real and most genuine feeling that I've ever had in my life.